Jim Bauer. I'm a uh, wool grower. Um, we've got a few cattle. Um, so I suppose my grazier. Um, family man, that's what I do. It's a family business and we uh, try to do the best we can within the family. The original bowers started here in 1840 something, I can't exactly say because there was a registration went through in 1850, I think it was, or 1849. Um, so yeah, quite a, quite a time. They've been, back then they were self-sufficient, they did everything themselves like most properties. Ramshire, my father and his father were breeding rams, um, so uh, yeah, we, we have an annual sale here and uh, we travel the length and breadth of Australia finding the best genetics we possibly can and um, quite pleased with the way things are going at the moment. Genetics for me are probably the most important part um, because there's a lot of natural things. When you've been in this business for a while, things do come pretty natural, selecting with eye and things like that, as other people do too. But genetics, they really don't lie and they take the bias out of it. So you've got ASBVs and um, all sorts of things these days. It's, uh, the world's your oyster in that department. We, uh, we do sell semen here, we AI every year so, uh, and collect semen, so it goes uh, to uh, different clients. So it's always available from our top size only though. My name is Joan Newton and for the last seven and a half years I've been studying at the University of New England in Armidale. I've just finished a PhD looking at the genetic and environmental factors that affect early reproduction in ewes. But in my time in Armadale, I've done a lot more than that. I've had the opportunity to get involved in the wider sheep industry and agricultural community. I've had the opportunity to steward at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, work for a number of local studs, run the Armadale Show sheep section, get involved with the New South Wales Farmers Association, and also act as a young farming champion and ambassador for the wool industry. The physical appearance of an animal is primarily affected by two things. It's genetic makeup or it's DNA and the environmental factors. Things like whether it was born as a single or a twin or how much feed there was when it was growing up. And one of the challenges in breeding sheep is that it doesn't matter how good an animal looks, it's only the proportion of its physical appearance that can be attributed to its genes that it can actually pass on to its progeny and future generations. ASBVs, Australian Sheep Breeding Values, are a useful tool to use alongside traditional selection on farm. An ASBV is an estimate of the genetic merit of an animal for a particular trait be that body weight traits or fleece weight traits or parasite resistance traits. I've been working at Stanley Vale pretty much as long as I've been living in Armadale, but since 2011 I've been looking after the data management of the stud animals and since 2011 that's also involved collecting and submitting data so that all Stanley Vale's rams have ASBVs on them. I think what sets Stanley Vale rams apart from other rams is the fact that, like many in the industry, Tim is looking for an increased wool cut and a larger framed animal that's got good parasite resistance. He's also paying careful attention to the wool quality to ensure that traditional super fine wool type that the Italian spinners market wants is retained in the animals. Um, I'm Dominic Bauer, I'm the youngest of our, my siblings. Um, out here now, I've moved back uh, at Christmas to take over the farm and I'll help Dad until, like he said, he's groomed me to take over, so. Um, I was always playing playing rugby on the side and uh, just sort of moved to Sydney to give it a bit of a shot and have a bit of experience down there, but um, whenever I sort of got the off season, I was back home working on the farm, so uh, I was always coming back, um, even from I don't know, like five, four, four or five years old, I was running around this farm and yeah, just always, I was always coming back here. <laughs> like my office, the best office in the world, so yeah, I love it out here, it doesn't, doesn't faze me. So our rams, uh, of course, of having their pretty wool on their back, we've, um, we've really started trying to develop a bigger ram to cut more 
in the wool department and um, we have we have headed in that direction so so far so good and yeah the rams are getting bigger with and trying to maintain the same pretty wool. To be quite arrogant it's won most things um, from zenders to uh, clip preparation awards to marabini awards to uh, goes on my father had a lot to do with that as well um, and he's still alive at 91 and still a great help to me and i hope i can be the same for my son and he's taken another step further which is great what's special about my lamb <laughs> oh it's um it's chemical free i suppose if you want to look at it like that we use minimal ke chemicals on this place um, in saying that we some people think we're a bit weird. We use uh, uh, an approach, and it's a holistic approach, but it's also uh, we do some uh, fertilising with stuff called 500, which is uh, a bio fertiliser. Uh, to cut that down to a, a short sentence, it creates worms in the ground and structure of the soil changes. Within probably 12 months of using it, so it's going rather well. We'll go further with that. We're trying to increase the body weight of our sheep. We just had, well, we weighed nine and a half month old uh, ram lambs a while ago at 68 kilos, which is pretty good. Um, so we've gone from a small ultra fine clip to a sheep that's rather productive, I think. Um, Dominic will be taking that a step further. So we're working on that all the time. As far as um, wool goes, we still want to retain, if anybody knows the Bradford counts, the old 74s plus, so, uh, which is a real challenge. And to do that and try to push towards five kilos, it's, it's uh, aiming at the stars for that type of wool, but we're determined to get there.